The United States is one of the only countries in the world that doesn't use the metric system. America still clings onto this outdated system despite metric being simpler, more logical, and universal. It's historically had so many opportunities to change it, so why hasn't the United States adopted the metric system? Well, before France invented the metric system in 1793, the place literally had over 250,000 measuring systems. The people at the head of the Enlightenment knew something needed to change. Thus, metric. They based it on units of 10 and tied it to the Earth's dimensions, which I'll explain a bit more about how that worked in a minute, making it consistent and easy to use. Given that America was literally the first country to adopt Enlightenment ideals, it was assumed that the new country would jump on the opportunity to adopt the new system. On top of that, America was currently looking for a measurement system, so this was perfect, right? Well, here are the four main reasons why it wasn't. One, metric was just too new and experimental. France itself struggled for a hundred years until its people finally got on board. Two, even though it hadn't yet been standardized, America was very much used to the British imperial system since it used to be a British colony and its largest trading partner was still Britain. Three, another reason I kid you not is because it was too French. Bruh. Okay, I should probably explain that one a little bit more. Despite being Enlightenment buddies, many Americans were skeptical of post-revolutionary French ideas because they seemed radical and chaotic. Plus, the meter was based on a measurement tied to France, one ten millionth of the distance from the North Pole to the equator, calculated along a meridian through Paris. Even though this measurement along the meridian would have been the same across the world, its origins made it seem like a very French system. 4. Thomas Jefferson, the person in charge of choosing a measurement system to adopt, had someone from France bring over metric units. Unfortunately, the ship with the units was captured by pirates and sunk. This was a shame, since Thomas Jefferson was initially supportive of metric, and had he gotten his hands on the units, it could have kept America on track to adopt the metric system. In 1832, the US officially adopted the customary system, which was practically identical to Britain's imperial system. The Industrial Revolution only further ingrained the customary system into America, since all this new equipment was based upon it. Big businesses were resistant to metric, since changing their equipment would be costly. Skip ahead to the passing of the 1975 Metric Conversion Act, which encouraged a gradual switch to metric. Wait, we tried to switch to metric already? Why didn't it work? The issue was it wasn't mandatory, so nothing really happened. Mix in nationalist pride, the idea that not adopting metric symbolized America as a leader and not a follower, and resistance to change since it's A, an outside idea, and B, cost time and money, and you get an America poised not to adopt the metric system. It's possible that the only way the United States will adopt the metric system is after it's declined significantly, like with what happened to the UK, or undergone a revolution, like with what happened to France. Do you think America will ever adopt the metric system? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you to my members and to you for watching.